1953, two brothers and a salesman went all in on a little music club on the Georgetown waterfront and christened it the Bayou. By the end of the first year, the salesman was kicked out. 45 years and a second set of owners later, the Bayou saw its last performance on New Year's Eve, 1998. Within six months, the club was gutted and the building torn down to make way for a multiplex movie theater. In 2012, five Washington filmmakers will let you back into the club for the first time in nearly 15 years. So you may witness... The whole place was a raucous, raucous mess. Part of the joy of going to a club that size is if you sit close enough to the band, you can hear the musicians talking to each other. It was probably one of the nicest places to play in the Washington area. And I think due to the managers and the owners that knew what they were doing. Vince and Tony had never run anything like that. The Comandes were dead on Italian, and Mike Monday was dead on Irish. I understand he got the squeeze job. And Whalen was the main force of the Bayou, I think, in the early 50s. And this was a club that had music, and it was loud music and uh, maybe get a little action, you know. And you ask anybody today, you know, doctors and lawyers and congressmen around here who had been to the Bayou, and all they got is good, good vibes of it. I guess I really stopped going to the Bayou when the Hard Rock took over, or whatever they called it then. They needed to change direction with something that they felt was really gonna make an impression. We looked a little unusual at the time. We had hair that was real high and real long. I remember crowds from the door around the corner and almost all the way up to M Street. Georgetown was becoming a rock and roll uh, mecca of the city, big time, and it happened almost overnight. had a, a tremendous stage. It was probably the best stage in the area. It was a great club, man. And it had a great back room, I might add. You could always judge a club by the back room. I remember thinking it was this cavernous place. Like, oh my god, you know, this is the big time, man. And the Bayou, to me, was the quintessential rock and roll joint. You know, it was the flat black, uh, boom, boom, boom. You like felt that. like no, you were no. at least hobnobbing with the national acts. <laughs> We've seen these bands grow up and progress. I love to go to the Bayou as an audience because it was, uh, there was a lot of freedom there. It was always packed, it was always full, lively, a lot of good rock and roll. There were many, many occasions where I would check a fire exit and there would be three employees having sex. Not two, but three. 